Hey everyone, I am back with another dinner to show you. Um, I was actually debating on doing this video today or not. Um, kind of a hot mess, hence the uh, pulled pony. Um, and I was like, I don't know if I want to do this video, but this is one of my favorite meals to cook. It is a little bit time consuming, but it um, turns out really, really good. So let me get started and I'll take you along the ride. All right, so today we are making stuffed bell peppers and I'm gonna boil up some corn and butter and milk. Um, so I'm starting to core out the bell peppers. The recipe calls for six, but I'm only doing five this time. Um, a lot of times when I find a recipe, I kind of tweak it and make it my own a little bit. So I'll kind of take you along the way on this recipe. And then also too, let me know if you want a copy of the recipe. Um, I can send it to you, I just have it saved to my phone and I'll let you know like what tweaks I do. For example, one of the things that calls for is one and a half pounds of beef. Um, so I have one pound of beef and then I do a half pound of Italian sausage, ground sausage. So I'll just cut this head in half and then the other half I'll use in spaghetti tomorrow night. Um, so the, the thing I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna core out bell peppers, get those going, and then I gotta cook the rice. All right, got my bell peppers ready. So what we do is we put them in the pan and we do about a cup and a half, a cup and a quarter water, whatever. We're gonna cover the, this with foil and then stick it in the oven for 25 minutes. So it softens up the bell peppers. This is like the best part. And I believe this is how they turn out really good and like tender and yummy. Um, with the bell peppers, I did wanna share, I also save all the extra little pieces. So I'm gonna wash those up and then put them in a little bag and like tomorrow morning or whenever, um, I'll make a little omelet and put some oven in there with some mushrooms, um, salt and pepper, good stuff. Get my rice going, cause that rice is gonna have to go in the mixture with the beef and the sausage. And then I got my corn in the pot here. I'm gonna pour, I don't even know how much. I just dump a bunch of milk in there, put, you know, several tablespoons of butter and then just let that boil away for a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna get my big pan out because I'm gonna do the sausage soon. Get in the oven preheated. The oven goes to 350 for the initial um, softening of the peppers. All right, we're getting somewhere. I got my ground beef and then half a pound of the sausage in there. The rice is cooking away. We got bell peppers going. Haven't started that yet. I'm gonna start that after the bell peppers go in for their final cook with all the meat and all that good stuff. Um, got some onion here. We're gonna use the, all that tomato sauce, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and we're just gonna get it going. All right, my meat mixture is ready, so I'm gonna dump the rice in there. That turned out really good. We're gonna put the tomato sauce in there, about a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and then a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. You're also gonna put a little bit of cheese on top of the bell peppers when, right before they go in the oven. Just a little bit for the little one. Say hi. I'll go back to my kitchen. These peppers look amazing. We drain the water. We are going to scoop the stuff into there, obviously. Top it off with a little bit of cheese. And then what you do is put it back in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes covered with that foil and then additional 10 minutes uncovered. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's a really good recipe, you guys. Oh, and also, it's pumpkin season. Just kidding, it's a pumpkin porter. I really like this one and I saw it and I had to grab it. So there's my beer with my meal. All right, guys, finished product. Looks delicious. I don't like the green ones because they mess up my tummy a little bit. So I might go for one of those yellow orange ones. And then here's the corn. Mm -mm -mm. Looks delicious. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video.